This week, Dr. Otherford has created a dirigible. Good morning, Dr. Otherford. Yes, it's a lighter-than-air balloon, and it could enable one to fly, but surely it's much too big for your sporran. To make a smaller version, you'll need a large piece of cardboard and something to heat the air. What does one do with that? It looks like a timed pop-up bread heater. And that is adhesive tape, which you can use to wrap the cardboard around the bread heater. This should prevent the bread heater from burning anything, such as your sporran tassels, Dr. Otherford. Now for the balloon. And you have a litter receptacle sack, or a bin liner for the working classes. Switch the bread heater on and place the tube around it. Add the bag over the top. and wait a little while. Splendid, Dr. Otherford. The sack is placed above the toaster. Inside it is an abundance of air molecules. When you switch the toaster on, hot air rises into the sack. The heat causes the molecules to move apart, and as a result, some are pushed out of the bottom of the sack. Now that some of the air has expanded out of the sack, the surrounding air weighs more than the sack does, and the heavier air pushes the sack upwards making it float away. As an alternative, one can add ballast in the form of adhesive tape. This can steady the movement of your hot air balloon. Oh dear.